In Mario Kart, there's boost panels on basically every single track. These make you get a huge speed boost, but what if we ignore all of that and try to avoid as many as possible? Well, in this video, we're going to attempt every single Mario Kart track, including the DLC, and we're going to see how many tracks are possible without touching boost panels. So what counts as a boost panel? Well, basically anything that looks like this. What doesn't count is glider ramps and mushrooms, because they technically aren't boost panels. They're really just things to get you in the air. So with all that said, let's get into the video. Starting off with Mario Kart Stadium, there's almost no boost panels in this entire course, so it's easy to clear. Water Park has no boost panels in the entire course, so this is obviously possible. And Sweet Sweet Canyon has no boost panels, and Thwomp Ruins, the boost panels are way out of the way so we can clear this cup with no problem. Starting off the flower cup with Mario Circuit, this course also has no boost panels, so we can clear it with no trouble. Toad Harbor has a bit of boost panels, but they're easily avoidable, so this one's possible. Now for Twisted Mansion, there's two boost panels right here, so I was honestly pretty concerned. But surprisingly, I actually hopped over them first try, and I cleared the course. But Shy Guy Falls was actually really difficult. Starting off, there's a ramp right here which is a huge problem, because no matter how much speed I tried to get, I could not cross to get to the other side. I tried using different combos, going on 200cc, but nothing was working. I was ready to just throw in the towel and give up, but then, this happened. I must have looked at this footage about 50 times, and I don't think I touched a boost panel. I didn't get a speed boost, it was just from the mushroom, and the black part does not give you a boost. So I think I didn't touch the boost panel, so I think that this jump is actually possible. Then we have to go up this waterfall of a bunch of boost panels, but they're easily avoidable by going to the right. And there's really not much after this, so surprisingly, this course is actually possible. The first course in the Star Cup is Sunshine Airport. And unfortunately, this course is impossible. There's a pretty large ramp right here that has a boost panel on it, and since it's slanted, we can't really jump over it. I tried a lot of times, but I don't think this is possible. But if you can do it, please send me a video because I want to see this be possible. There are other boost panels in this course, but you could just go around them with no difficulty. Thankfully, Dolphin Trolls only has one boost panel which can easily be avoided, so this course is possible. Surprisingly, Electrodrome doesn't have any boost panels in it, so we can clear this course with no difficulty. But Mount Wario sure was a doozy. There are a lot of boost panels on this course. The first part doesn't have many, they're mostly out of the way, but then we get to the second part. There's a ramp with a boost panel right here, but by driving off the course, we can avoid it. But the part with the dam is actually pretty difficult. There's a lot of boost panels that are moving, so you have to maneuver around them. But thankfully, it's possible. Unfortunately, the third part is not possible. There's a lot of boost panels, and some of them are impossible to jump across due to how thick they are. I honestly think they may be possible, but I wasn't able to do it. So for now, I'm going to mark Mount Wario as not possible. Thankfully, after Mount Wario not being possible, Cloudtop Cruise has one boost ramp that we can easily avoid, so we can move on to Bone Dry Dunes. I'm pretty sure that there's no boost panels in the entirety of Bone Dry Dunes, so this course is possible. I was pretty scared for Bowser's Castle because I remembered the big Bowser statue with the boost panels, and for some reason the hitbox is wider on these, so you can't just drive around them. But thankfully, we can just fall off and skip them all together. But this next boost panel that's leading to the glider ramp is very difficult to jump across. I really don't think it's possible, so I just decided to take the loss here. This may be possible for a certain combo and in 200cc, but I wasn't able to do it myself. And surprisingly, Rainbow Road doesn't have that many boost panels. The ones that it does have are easily avoidable or out of the way, so we can clear the special cup with only Bowser's Castle being impossible. Moving on to the Egg Cup, Yoshi Circuit, Excite Bike Arena, and Dragon Driftway are all possible. Mute City unfortunately isn't possible because there's a lot of boost ramps here and they seem pretty unavoidable because they're slanted. Like the other impossible ones, it might be possible to clear this, but I honestly doubt it. Moving on to the Leaf Cup, Baby Park is obviously possible. But Cheese Land I was actually having some difficulty with. There's this massive ramp right here, which seems impossible to jump over. But then I realized that the edges are somewhat unblocked. Sure, there's fences right here, but you can actually get a pretty good amount of height. So I must have tried this jump at least 50 times. Although I was so close to giving up, this happened. This jump is actually possible. It kind of blew my mind. And thankfully, the rest of this course has no more boost panels, so it is possible. 
After the struggle that was Cheese Land, Wild Woods is very easy to breeze through because there's only boost panels at the end which are easily avoidable. I really wanted to end this cup on a high note, but I don't think Animal Crossing is possible. This ramp is just too big to jump across and you just don't get enough height. So let's move on to the Shell Cup. Moo Moo Meadows has no boost panels that are in our way, so we can clear it with ease. But unfortunately, I can't say the same for Mario Circuit since there's a ramp right here which is not possible to clear. But on a high note, Cheap Cheap Beach and Toad's Turnpike were all possible because all the boost panels are optional. And by some miracle, the Banana Cup was completely possible. Dry Dry Desert has almost no boost panels, Donut Plains 3 has no boost panels, Royal Wasteway has a few boost panels, but as long as you drive carefully, you can avoid them. But DK Jungle had me sweating. There was a ramp right here that seemed like it was possible, but I just couldn't get the jump. I tried so many times with like 50 different combinations, but nothing was working. Until I randomly decided to use Baby Mario, and I actually cleared the jump somehow. I have no idea how this happened, but I'll take it. And you could just glide over the rest of the boost panels, marking the entirety of the banana cup possible. Keeping our win streak up going into the Leaf Cup, Wario Stadium, and Sherbet Land are both possible. I thought Music Park was impossible because of this ramp right here, but after tinkering around with my combo for a bit, Lakitu was nice enough to spawn me on the other side, making this course possible. And thankfully Yoshi Valley has no boost panels, so the entirety of this cup is possible. I'm honestly surprised that all these courses have been possible so far. Let's hope we keep our win streak going high going into the Lightning Cup. Thankfully there aren't any boost panels in TikTok Clock, so it's obviously possible. Piranha Plant Slide was pretty difficult because there were these two boost panels at the end that seemed impossible to avoid. However, with very precise hops, you can make it across and clear the course. Grumble Volcano has a few boost ramps here and there, but there's nothing to sweat over. And all of N64 Rainbow Road's boost panels are optional, so the entirety of the Lightning Cup is possible. Moving on to the Triforce Cup, Wario's Gold Mine has a few boost panels you need to watch out for, but you can avoid them pretty easily. Nest Rainbow Road's also possible since there's no boost panels on it, and the same goes for Ice Ice Outpost and Hyrule Circuit, so the entirety of this cup is possible. In the Bell Cup, Neo Bowser City and Super Bell Subway are the only possible tracks. Ribbon Road has this huge ramp which is definitely not possible, and despite this really cool jump I made, Big Blue isn't possible since every time you complete a lap, the check a board part turns into a boost panel, so it's not possible. There might be a chance this is possible for certain cart combination, but I didn't manage to do it myself. I honestly didn't expect this many base game tracks to be possible, so let's move on to the DLC tracks. Starting off the DLC with the Golden Dash Cup, Paris Promenade, Toad Circuit, and Chocolate Mountain are all possible. Coconut Mall was extremely difficult, since at the end there's two paths, one with a glider ramp and one with a boost ramp. Obviously the one with the boost ramp is not possible, so I tried the glider ramp part. But there was a boost panel in front of it that was very difficult to avoid. I tried a bunch of different combos, but I just couldn't jump over it. But then I tried with Baby Mario, and after letting go of a drift near it, I think I jumped over it. Playing the clip in slow motion, it 100% looks like I jumped over it, so I'm marking this course as possible. And I'm also very happy to report that every single track in the Lucky Cat Cup was 100% possible. For the Lucky Cat Cup, Tokyo Blur, Shroom Ridge, Sky Garden, and Ninja Hideaway were all possible. For the Turnip Cup, New York Minute, Mario Circuit 3, and Calamari Desert are all possible. The only course that's impossible is Waluigi Pinball, because there's a boost panel right next to this glider ramp that's impossible, and even if we did get past it, there's another huge ramp with a boost panel on it, which is impossible. On the bright side, the entirety of the Propeller Cup is 100% possible. I'm honestly surprised that Sky High Sunday was possible, but there's basically no boost panels on this course. For the Rock Cup, London Loop, and Boo Lake have no boost panels in them, so they're possible. After doing the stick jump in Rock Rock Mountain, we can't progress any further because I forgot there's a huge ass ramp of a boost panel right here, so we can't clear this. Maple Tree Way is also impossible because again, there's another boost panel ramp. For the Moon Cup, Berlin Byways, Peach Gardens, and Merry Mountain were all possible. But 3DS Rainbow Road wasn't possible, which I expected, because there's a huge boost panel right next to this glider ramp, and Lakitu wasn't being very nice, so we always get put before the boost panel. So yeah, this one definitely isn't possible. Thankfully, Amsterdam Drift, Riverside Park, and Yoshi's Island are fairly easy courses to tackle. 
The only semi-difficult one was DK Summit, but as long as you pay attention, you can easily avoid all the boost panels. For the Boomerang Cup, Bangkok Rush with just another boring ass city track, and Mario Circuit and Waluigi Stadium were possible. Singapore Speedway has another boost ramp, so it's impossible to clear. I tried it a few times, but you just can't gain enough height to pass it, so I'm marking it as impossible. For the Feather Cup, Athens Dash, Daisy Cruiser, and Squeaky Clean Sprint are all possible. The only course here that's impossible is Moonview Highway because there are these huge boost panels which are impossible to clear. For the Cherry Cup, Los Angeles Laps, Sunset Wilds, and Vancouver Velocity were all possible. Koopa Cape unfortunately wasn't because there's these huge ramps with boost panels and boost panels leading up to them. So yeah, this is definitely not happening anytime soon. On the bright side, every single course in the Acorn Cup is 100% possible. So let's move on to our last cup, the Spiny Cup. Madrid Drive and Rosalina's Ice World were both pretty easy. Bowser's Castle 3 has a lot of boost panels in the last section, but thankfully, you could just fly off the course and Lakitu will bring you to safety away from all the boost panels. And sorry to be anticlimactic here, but Wii Rainbow Road is 100% not happening. There's like 20,000 boost panels and a billion boost panel ramps, so there's no way we can clear this. I tried going off the course and seeing if Lakitu will bring me past the boost panels, but he didn't, so I'm gonna mark this course as impossible. So looking back at all of the courses, 16 out of the 96 were impossible. This is such a lower number than I expected. There's really a lot of optional boost panels in this game. So that about wraps up the video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.